By the term forces of persuasion, line 32, the author pro most probably refers to. Okay, the forces of persuasion, right? This is on line 29. For, in order to do so, wait, hold on. For, in order to do so, for is premise, right? So let's go back um, and kind of read what we were referring to before. If the Marcusians are right, we cannot with any assurance, this is on line 28, separate our real needs from the alleged false needs we feel as a result of manipulation, manipulation of advertisers. For, in order to do so, in order to separate our real needs from our alleged false needs, it would be necessary to eliminate forces of persuasion that are so prevalent in society that they have come to inform our instinctive judgments about things. Okay, so what do we know about these forces of per, uh, persuasion? They're everywhere in society, and they inform our instinctive judgments about things. Sound good? What are these forces of persuasion? It's not really clear. Huh? Facebook advertisements. Facebook advertisements everywhere. Okay, which ones are we debating? C. C? Anyone debating A? I got rid of A because of intentionally. I think that if things are manipulative, uh, they might deceive you, but they m may not have been intentional. Also, answer choice A says the word claims, which is very narrow. Forces of persuasion are maybe beyond claims. They're also pictures. Who knows? Answer choice, uh, anyone tempted by B? Innate instinctual drives. No, these things inform our drives, but they aren't the drives themselves. C, emotional pressures that some theorists claim are exerted over individuals by society as a whole. I didn't like this because it says by society as a whole. Um, I feel like they, are per they, are, they pervade society. They are everywhere, but that doesn't make them society. Right? They're a part of our society. Um, so, yes. Keep it open. I kept it open. Uh, e. Manipulative, manipulative influences that some theorists say go unrecognized by those affected by them. Why do we know that that's actually true? Why do we know that some theorists say that? Marcusians say it, right? Line, Who? Line 35. 35. But in fact, Marcusians make a major mistake in assuming that the majority of consumers who respond to advertising do not so, do so autonomously. Yes, the Marcusians think, right, that we don't recognize them where in fact we do. All right, we're good with this one? Any other questions on this one? Okay.